Hey guys, Mary Joanne. So February six at ten forty, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go straight to bed. I was gonna make it short, but I'll wait till I wake up to do that. But <clears throat> yay, I sold the brown uh, scratching post that I showed you guys. That got a little wet. <laughs> The storage room, uh, I sold it for five bucks, so somebody came by and picked it up. So now I got five dollars, so that's good. Because <laughs> then when I took in the pop bottles, I'll have a little bit more money. And then the weight scratching post is, that's I got for free from my family. It's waiting to be picked up, but I'm giving it away for free. I was going to sell it for five, but it's just like, I got it for free, so I might as well give it away for free. So hopefully they come by later today. So I'm slowly getting rid of my cat stuff. So yay. <laughs> I still have so much more to get rid of and go through. But I have to clean a lot of the products first. So like some uh, scratching stuff I have to clean. Or take photos of and then post it. But I'm too tired to do it now. So I'll probably do it later. But you guys already saw me wipe it down and vacuum it. So. Yeah. Finally got rid of two. Well, almost going to be getting rid of two. So that's good. And, oh, I'm just so tired. I'm leaving the soup on the stove. Without the burner on, but the lid on, I'm not gonna put it in the fridge till later because I'm just too tired. I forgot to uh, make the parsnip burgers, but I'll make that next when I wake up. So, yeah, I have an upset stomach. So, I pretty much got to go to sleep now, but I thought that was cool. I was like, yeah, I got rid of the scratching post finally, and I got five bucks out of it. <laughs> so, yay. But that was a really nice uh, scratching post. Like, it did get wet, but it did dry. And then I washed the inside of it again. So, it was only five bucks I sold it for. But, that's good. So, yeah. It kind of helps not having the stuff here to think about the cats. <laughs> so, I'm glad that it's gone now. So yeah, I gotta figure out which ones to keep for Josephine, cause some of the stuff she doesn't use anymore anyways. And they'll probably like, put a bunch of cat toys together and try to sell that for like five bucks. Cause they do add up, and the, those noise balls that I got, Josephine never played with, they're brand new, so I'm gonna try to sell them for five. Even though it cost me like nine bucks, but... I don't have the package, so I'll, but I'll sell it eventually. But finally getting rid of stuff. I still have to take a photo of all the free stuff. And I'm waiting for somebody to pick up the free stuff that they wanted. Don't know if they still want it or not, but... If not, then I'll just drop that bag off to uh, Salvation Army. But yeah, I'm so worn out. Even though I took the vit vitamin pill, I'm like... Uh, so tired. Wait. <sighs> you guys saw me eat the bacon and the bread. The vegan bread and the vegan bacon. And I had some soup. But not a lot of soup because, like I said, I have an upset stomach. So, fortunately, I gotta go back to bed. But, um, just hopefully a nap. And I'll let you guys know. But yeah, I'm actually not watching TV this time. But I do have to get up because I have to put the parsnips. And maybe I'll just get up and do it with you guys. And I gotta put away the parsnips and the onions. Because I forgot I was going to do that first. <laughs> and then I started making the soup. So yay, the scratching post is gone. The other scratching post is outside. So yeah, there's a, there's a chicken noodle soup that I made, so I'll do it short later. <laughs> oh. But it was pretty good. So I made one dish and you saw me make the whole thing, that's why I uploaded one after the other. And then now I'm going to... 
put the parsnips and the onions away. So when I wake up, I can work on that next. <sighs> well, at least most of the dishes are done. So yeah, now tomorrow when I go out, I could get some more tuna for Josephine. So these are the parsnips and the onions. I was like, why are these out? I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to make the burger, so that'll be next when I wake up. I'm just too tired to do it now. at least two more soups that I want to make. I'm going to have pop though because I drink water when I cook. <laughs> I drink pop before I go to bed. Mm. I'm not even going to eat. I'm just going to go straight to bed. I am exhausted. So hopefully the person picks up the uh, stretch clothes for free. <sighs> when I had five cats, I needed all those scratching posts, but now I only have one cat. <laughs> one cat. Now it's dark, but it's pretty clean in here. I did a load of dishes. One, I put away all the dishes this morning, though. I don't even remember what time I got up at, but I remember it was early. So yeah, I don't have to pick up family's kids today, so that's why I go. Whenever I'm tired, I'm just gonna go to sleep, and then when I wake up, I'll just continue cooking and. The later we could declutter together. Like I said, it's more important right now to do the cooking because I don't want my vegetables to go bad and I need soup. soup. But right now, my stomach just hurts so much and I feel a little lightheaded, so I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to go to sleep. But lucky that person that messaged me on Facebook, they were like so quick. They're like, yeah, I'll come in the next hour, and they left the $5 change, and uh, outside, I was actually outside smoking, I didn't even hear them come by, <laughs> so, that's good, because you get some more tuna for uh, Josephine, Josephine's in her room, she did come out for a little while, but yeah, I am... Um, so tired. So by the time this video uploads, I'm probably going to be asleep. <laughs> I'm going to upload it when I'm sleeping. So, yeah. I'm going back to bed, but that's pretty much how you have to do it now, unless I'm like, I'm just going to do one thing and then take a break, and if I end up sleeping, then I'm sleeping. That's also considered a break, or if I'm eating and watching TV, but yeah, I'm just so, so, so tired of my Freddy. <laughs> Me and my Freddy. I was actually thinking of selling the cat at Waterfine because I know people would buy it. That's what I did when I didn't have money when I had three other cats. But then Speckles went out with the other cat at Waterfine for a while. <laughs> so it's like, nah. I'll wait till 
Because Josephine still uses it. She just doesn't use it that often like she used to. <sighs> so yeah. I'm going to go back to bed. And then like I said when I wake up. Uh, we'll make the parsnip burgers. I might just make them as soon as I wake up and not record it and just sh and show you guys it afterwards. It's probably what I'm going to do. Because I don't want to record everything I do in the kitchen. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so... That remember, if you have conditions, take breaks. And, um... If you guys are struggling, please get help. If you're if you're struggling to the point where it's messing up your life and you can't do anything, please get help. Seek talk to your doctors. Like for me at least, yeah, I feel like crap right now, but as soon as I fall asleep and then I wake up again, then I feel good. So that's what I do. Like yesterday I felt so crappy, so I just sucked all day. Today I'm awake, but then I go to sleep and then I get up again and then all over again, but I'm not uh, worried about my life. Like I still love my life right now, and I'm and I'm not s scared about my conditions. So yeah, please seek help if you guys need it. Like I keep saying, because somebody was saying that they were scared and that they. They weren't doing good, so it's like, well, there's nothing that I could really do <laughs> about it. So I told them in the comments, please get help, and I hope they do, because... So if you're watching this, please get help. Because <laughs> there's nothing, there's not a whole lot that I could do. I'm just a YouTuber, and all that I do is just share my what I do. So that's what I keep saying for me. I take my medication, and then I go to sleep when I feel like crap, and then I get up again. So... <laughs> That's what I do, but beyond that, like, I can't really uh, tell people to keep going and, like, and constantly talk to you guys. So, if worse comes to worse and you guys need that extra support too, you can always call the suicide line. Like I said, there's a few times I've called it, and that's how I ended up getting my counselor. So... But now I don't need a counselor, even she said what you're doing is good enough for you being on YouTube and doing your living memory projects and falling asleep is good enough. As long as there's nothing that I could really do for you except for listen, she costs a lot of money, so that's why I don't do, use the counselor anymore, but... Like I said, that's how I got her was through the suicide hotline. Because even though you could tell them that you're not, you don't want to do that, but you are struggling and you need to help with resources, and then they should be able to help you. I mean, maybe not all of them, but I know when I called, at least they did help me. So that's good. But <clears throat> it's different for everyone, I guess. But yeah, it just worries me when people tell me. That they're not doing well. Because. I know what it's like. But like I said. I, If you don't do anything about it. Then. And you just constantly say. How you feel. Then nothing's going to change. It's like my dad. My dad constantly complains all the time. About how bad his life is. And this and that. I'm like well if all you're going to do is look at the negative stuff. <clears throat> and you don't talk to your doctors. And you don't talk to counseling, then you're never going to get any better, and you're going to be in the same position, and three years later, he's still in the same position, <laughs> just like my ex, too, my ex is the same way, but my ex actually got help, but then he didn't do the help that was told to do, he just does it the other way, where he, he's tricking people, saying, oh yeah, I'm getting help, but he's not really doing what he's supposed to be doing, so that's why I go, that's the other thing, too, if you're getting help, and you're not doing what they suggest <clears throat> and you're just wasting your their time and their, and your time <laughs> you should be doing what they suggest tell you to do to get better but some people just don't so that's the other thing too is that you could go keep getting help getting help getting help but if you're not going to 
take the help that they suggest, then you're not going to get any better. And that's what happened to my ex. And he's still in the same boat, apparently. <laughs> His family is still pretty much paying for him, so... Nothing's really changed. <laughs> but, <clears throat> that's why I'm glad that they're out of my life. And I was actually so tempted to unblock them on... And block him on Facebook just so I could tell him about speckles because I know it would, it would really get to him. <clears throat> but then I'm like, I'm not that kind of person. I don't want to sink to his level. I don't want him to know. If he knows it and it's his family that tells him, it's not me. But I know that would pretty much destroy him. And as much as I hate him and I hate what he did to me and speckles. I'm still not going to do that because I'm not that type of person and I don't want any contact with him whatsoever. So if I was going to unblock him, then I'd have to wait again and then I'd have to talk to him and I don't want to talk to him. So <laughs> if he really wanted to know about speckles, he would have been a better person about everything, but he wasn't. So I know, unfortunately, I got to get back into, I got to do a story time about that all. But basically, he chose somebody else over me and Speckles, even though me, I was there through everything. Still waiting, still waiting, still waiting, still waiting. <laughs> and even though we were over, I was still waiting for him, which was stupid. And then later on, he ends up picking somebody else. So I was just like, screw it, I'm not waiting for you anymore. I'm going to focus on... Well, I was never really waiting for him. I was still focused on myself. But at the same time, I kind of was. So now it's like, now I haven't talked to him in over a year now already. Time goes by so quickly. It's insane. So, yeah. It's just... Eventually, I'll do a better story time about it. You guys should know the story by now. Pretty much used me, ditched me, and... Chose somebody else, and... <sighs> but that's how it is. Uh, one, actually, one of my friends, who's a guy... Well, ex-friends are not really friends anymore, because I don't like him pushing, and then he got offended at me, and then he blocked me, so... <laughs> we're not a lot of friends, but... It's not like I was telling him, oh... I wasn't calling him bad names or anything. I was just telling him what I felt about fishing. And he's like, oh, if that's how you feel. And I'm like, well, <laughs> And, yeah. I don't, and I never like fish. It's... It's sad. What, they, what people... How people fish. But, anyways. <clears throat> the point is that he ended up... Uh, he was with somebody. And the girlfriend took his house. Took his money. Took his friends. He lost everything. Because of this girl. And he's still picking up the pieces. But at least he got over it. And moved on. And didn't let it destroy him. So that's why I'm like. I'm trying to do the same thing. Like it happens to everyone. Girls. Guys. Not just. Not just girls. Girls don't just get played. It's everybody that gets played. So. <laughs> that's why I go. I kind of. Kind of know now a little more but yeah it's just a shame how people just use people and that's one reason why I don't want to date and why I have trust issues but also at the same time it's uh other reasons it's not just because of that it's my conditions and yeah but it's just sad how every so, everybody gets screwed over once in their life. I know so many, I've heard so many stories when, after talking about my ex, how I ended up in debt, taking him and, and my cat in. And then he still chose somebody else over me, and they're not even together, which is stupid and pointless. So, it's like, what's all that? And she actually bothered me, too. So, it's like, oh. Never could never quite understand that, but that was a last straw when she got involved and she was like telling me, oh, leave him alone. I'm like, leave him alone. Screw that. <laughs> but 
in the end, I decided to leave him alone because I don't want to deal with him or her, so. Yeah. In the, in the end, it, it worked out for the better, but they're not even together, so. <laughs> so stupid. I mean, if you just, if, if, you, if you just don't want to be with somebody, then tell them straight up. Don't drag it on for years and years and years until something better comes along because that's, or your ex comes along because that's not good because that's pretty much what it was. His ex wanted him back, but then she's like in a relationship with somebody else, but apparently they're still talking and... So I don't know. She's screwing up her li his life and again, and the people who's involved with them. So, and I know this because I actually ran into her when I was in Victoria last time. And I <laughs> actually on my trip, I recorded how I ran into her, and then you actually see her for a split second because I was at the Point Ellis house. So I was like. I wanted to like yell at her and hit her and do all these things, but I was the wrong place at the wrong time kind of thing. I still wish I did though, but you gotta be a stronger person. That's why I'm like, as much as I hate my ex and his ex, I could have done so many things, but I'm, I don't want to stoop to their level. So, but I did, <laughs> like I said, I did record it. When they were there, and I didn't know that she was in the video, but I was just like, oh, we should go push her in the water. <laughs> As a joke. <laughs> I was this close to wanting to do it, though, but... It was, uh... What do you call it? A event, so... It would have been good, and... His family, I was with my ex's family at the time. When we were friends, so... But yeah, at least I didn't steep through the level, and as much as I want to, like, destroy my ex's life, I won't do that. I think he pretty much fucks up his own life, and will feel like crap eventually, because he's destroyed so many lives, unfortunately. And that's just how some people are. Some people just keep using people, and then they take it out as uh, they're the victim, not you, but because they can't get the help they needed, I'm like, well, we, I kept begging you to get help, your family he was begging you to get help, you said you got help, but you didn't do the help that was suggested, so <laughs> that's why I'm bringing this stuff up too, it's like, she could get all the help in the world, but if you're not going to do what they say, for exercises and like follow through with like plans then yeah you're gonna screw up your own life so it's just sad that some people keep on living while good people keep dying and it's like I don't really quite understand that but <clears throat> yeah it's just it's shameful, really. <laughs> Actually, my best friend goes, it's too bad that your ex can be put down rather than speckles. I'm like, yep. <laughs> I never even said that. My best friend said that. I was like, oh. At first I got mad at her for saying it, but then I'm like, no, yeah, you're right. Instead of speckles. He should have lived longer. And the ex should have went, but... <laughs> You can't do that, though. You can't put down people like we put down animals, so... But it's, it's a shame that people who don't... Who keep saying they're going to change their life around, and they don't change their life around. That's the thing that bothers me. Because at least... I mean, I'm not saying I'm changing my life around, but at least I'm doing what I say, and at least I'm not uh, ruining anybody else's lives by trying to survive on my own. Like, I'm not taking money from people and not paying them back and getting them into debt. I, I really hate actually borrowing money from people, but I always pay them back, so. 
because of that. That's why I'm not like the, that. But yeah, just remember if you don't get the help, I mean, you could get all the help in the world, and if you're not, if you don't do what they say to get help, then yeah, you're just gonna end up in the same boat over and over again. So. Yeah, just make sure if you need that help, just try to get help. But like I said, I got my YouTube, so even my counselor said that's good enough <laughs> for me. I have people to talk to uh, if I need it. But for now, I'm just tired and I'm going to go to bed. So like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys next time I'm awake here on Phantom Stories. Welcome to my haunted world, night-night, back to bed.